compute without a calculator. We're going to add 5 plus 3 and 4 tenths plus 17 and 23 hundredths. Now just for a minute, what would you do if you added 5 plus 3? Just leave off the 4 and the, and the 23 hundredths. Think about it. what's 5 plus 3? That's 8. Okay, and 17 plus 8. This is seventeen dollars and twenty-three cents, right? Seventeen plus our eight is what? Twenty-five. So I should end up with about twenty-five dollars when I'm done. Okay, about somewhere in there, maybe twenty-six, maybe twenty-four, but it's about twenty-five. Okay. So we're going to add five. Okay. And uh, we're going to have to have a decimal after the five, and we're going to have to have. Um, a zero and a zero. I'll show you why in a minute. Okay. It was just five. Okay. It was just five. Okay. But if you write this as five dollars, what would you write? And you put a dollar sign, wouldn't you? We won't put the dollar sign because we're not dealing with dollars. Okay. These two things are called placeholders. They have no value, but they hold a place. Okay. Now copy down your 3.4. So five dollars and three dollars, okay. Point, line the decimals up, put your four. So what are you going to put here? Another one of these placeholders. Another placeholder, okay. All right. So that's that's what three dollars and forty cents looks like, doesn't it? And then we have our seventeen. Seventeen goes in front of this. Then there's your decimal. We're lining up the decimals. And then put your 23 cents right here. Okay. So this zero and this zero and this zero, they're placeholders. Okay. So th this placeholder, I'll take the zero and add it to the zero and add it to three. Okay. So you're getting three, aren't you? You have to have these placeholders. So you have to have something that adds to the three. So zero plus zero, zero plus three is three. Now I have this placeholder after the 5. It was just 5, but now I have this placeholder. I can say 0 plus 4 is 4, and 4 plus 2 is 6. Of course, we're going to line up the what? Line up the what? So what's going to go down here? Okay. All right. Now we have 5 plus 3. What's 5 plus 3? 8. 8 plus 7, 15. Carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is two. So these placeholders are very important to put in there. And it's very important that you line up the decimals. Final answer, 25.63 or 25 and 63 hundredths.